Okay, hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the class lab, so the class and inheritance lab. So let's get started. Uh, there's four pages of the of this uh, lab, so it's not too bad. Okay, so create a spaceship class with three variable properties: name, health, and position. The default value of name should be an empty string, and the health should be zero. Position will be uh, represented by an int, where negative numbers place the ship further to the left, and positive numbers place the ship further to the right. The default value position should be zero. So let's go ahead and start with that. So how do we do that? To declare, to create a class rather, you use the keyword class, and we're gonna give it a name, and the name is space ship. And that's pretty much it. We have our two curly braces. We have a, a class called ship now. Of course, we have to have it's an empty class now. We have to give it some variables, and we're told to give it three variables. So var. The first one being name, and um, that will have a, an, an empty value of string. The second being health, and that has a value of zero. And var position has a value of zero as well. Okay, we're done here. Okay, let's move on. Create a let constant called Falcon and assign it to an instance of Spaceship. After initialization, set the name, set name to Falcon. All right, let's see how we do that. So that's pretty easy. We're gonna create an object of type Spaceship. So let Falcon equal Spaceship, and we're gonna have the two parentheses. Now Falcon here is of type Spaceship. Great. Now we're gonna change the name to Falcon with a uppercase F. So we're gonna go Falcon dot and I've got the three properties here, right? That I've created up there, dot name equals, and we're gonna give it a value of falcon. Beautiful. Okay, go back and add a method called move left to the definition of spaceship. This method should adjust the position of the spaceship to the left by one. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go func move left, right? So we're creating a method here, and since we're moving it one to the left, we're decrementing the position by one. So position uh, minus equals one. Great. Uh, add a similar method called move right that moves the spaceship to the right. Um, okay, so func move right, and this will increment the position by one. All right, once these method, uh, methods exist, use them to move Falcon to the left twice and to the right once. Print the new position of Falcon after each change in position. Okay, so let's do this. If I print Falcon dot uh, position right now, it should say zero, right? And then if I move it, uh, let's see here, it says, um, uh, move falcon to the left twice so we're going to move a falcon to the left so we're going to say falcon dot move left and we're going to print the position again i'm just going to copy and paste this because we're going to have to do it a few times it should be negative one now exactly and then we're going to go falcon dot move left again and we're going to print the position again that should be negative two great and we're gonna go falcon dot move right and we're gonna print the position again and that should be at negative one exactly because it moved one right all right that works awesome the last thing spaceship needs for this example is a method to handle what happens if the ship gets hit go back and add a method was hit to spaceship that will decrement the ship's health by five then if health is less than or equal to zero, we'll print sorry, your ship was hit uh, one too many times. Do you wanna play again? Once this method exists, call it on Falcon. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this thing right here because that's a big string. So essentially we're gonna decrement health by five and have an if statement to check if health is equal to or less than zero. That's pretty easy. So we're gonna create a function called was hit and we're gonna say health minus equals five and we're gonna create an if statement if health 
is uh, less than or equal to zero, um, then do the following. And we're going to print something here. And I copied something in here. Of course, I had already copied the quotations, so we don't need these two. All right, great. Now, if we call this and we're already at health, this is already going to... I'm going to change health to maybe 15 to illustrate this point because I'm not sure why health should be zero because that will automatically call up the print function. So I'm going to change health to 15 initially. So let's go ahead and do this now. So we're going to go ahead and call up um, the function. Uh, so we're going to go falcon dot uh, was hit and we're going to print falcon dot health. It should say 10 now because it got decremented by five. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to copy this because I'm going to do it one more time. Falcon dot was hit again. And if I print, it should be five at this point. Exactly. And now the next time I call Falcon dot was hit, it should decrement to zero and it should automatically print the string that we uh, printed up there. So let's see this falcon dot was hit as soon as i hit return it should work it should work and yes it does so it decremented it to zero now and it says sorry your ship was hit one too many times you want to play again perfect all right let's move on to page two okay page two so let's have a look at this thing here they've already created this class for us in page two so let's go to the bottom here define a new class fighter that inherits from spaceship add a variable property weapon that defaults to an empty string and a variable property remaining firepower that defaults to uh, uh, that that defaults to five okay so how do you do that so the first part is define a new class fighter that inherits from spaceship okay so how do you do that so we're going to create a new class of type fighter and fighter will be the child class and it will inherit from the parent class spaceship. And that's pretty much it. We have a new class called fighter that inherits from spaceship. Fantastic. Uh, it says add a variable property weapon that defaults to an empty string. So var weapon, and this is going to be an empty string, um, and a variable property remaining firepower that defaults to five. So var remaining, hold on, let me just adjust this var remaining fire power that defaults to five all right we're done here create a new instance of fighter so we're going to create a new instance of fighter here called destroyer so let's go ahead and do that var destroyer equals fighter okay so now we have a new instance of um, um destroy uh, of this uh, of fighter called destroyer a fighter will be able to shoot incoming objects to avoid colliding with them. After initialization, set weapon to laser and uh, remaining firepower to 10. Okay, so we're going to change the destroyer.weapon to laser. And we're going to say um, destroyer.remaining firepower to 10. 10 we're gonna set at 10 okay great note that since fighter inherits from spaceship it also has properties from name health and position and has a method move left move right and was hit and that is absolutely true so if i type in destroyer dot you'll see all the methods it inherited and all the variables attributes inherited from the original class okay that is true uh, even though you did not specify uh, specifically add them to the declaration fighter knowing that set the name to destroyer print position uh, then call move right and print position again all right we could do that so destroyer dot name we're gonna uh, set its value to destroyer with a capital d destroyer and then we're gonna print position uh, print uh, destroyer dot position and it should be zero. Yes, it is. And then um, let's say then move right. So uh, destroyer dot move right. And then we're gonna print position again. Dot p 
position it should be a positive one there we go perfect okay let's move on here okay so try to print weapon on falcon why does this work why doesn't this work rather provide your answer in a comment or a print statement below and remove any code you added that doesn't compile try to print uh, try to print weapon on falcon well falcon is a <clears throat> trying to keep track of all these uh, fighters falcon isn't even here falcon is in the first page right yeah falcon's here so it won't work because falcon isn't uh, we added weapon to uh, type of, um, to type a fighter right so we created destroyer from fighter and weapons only available in fighter so why wouldn't it work that's a silly question obviously it wouldn't work because Falcon is not of type fighter. It is of type spaceship. The weapon variable is only available, right? Yeah, am I wrong? Yeah, weapons only available to fighter is only available to instances of type fighter that's right okay cool silly question okay uh, add a method to fighter called fire okay let's go ahead and do that real quick uh, fighter fighter funk fighter okay so we've added a method it's an empty method for now let's go back this should check to see if the remaining power if the remaining power is greater than zero and if so should decrement remaining power by one if remaining is not greater than zero print you have um, you have no more firepower I'm gonna copy this again call fire on destroyer a few times and print remaining firepower after each method okay so let me just read this again um, this should check if check to see if the remaining power is greater than a zero simple if statement and if so should decrement remaining power by one if remaining firepower is not greater than zero print okay I got it okay so we go back here we go back here and we're gonna add a function called fighter which we uh, not fighter silly fire uh, okay and what are we gonna do we're gonna create an if statement we can say if uh, remaining firepower is less than zero we're gonna say um, um, hold on sorry I'm having trouble here this should check if to see if remaining firepower is greater than zero yes if greater than zero and if so should decrement remaining power okay so we don't print anything here if it's greater than zero we decrement um, remaining firepower remaining firepower minus equal one um, by one okay if remaining firepower is not greater than zero print this thing okay there we go else they should really have the instructions up here because I keep forgetting what they're telling us to do and of course I have to print this there we go okay that's pretty easy and uh, remaining firepower is a five I'm gonna decrement it to three here because I wanna I don't wanna call up the thing five times um, on destroyer okay you have no more call fire on destroyer a few times and print remaining firepower so I'm gonna go destroyer dot remaining firepower I'm gonna print that print I'm gonna print this and you will see that it's um, Remaining firepower is 10 uh, because it's destroyer and destroyer is of type fighter and we've set it at 10 whoops I'm gonna change this to 3 I changed the wrong thing to 3 there we go 3 and I'm gonna call up destroyer dot fire and I'm gonna call this a big uh, up again it should be 2 I'm going to say destroyer.fire again and call up 
uh, print the remaining firepower and it's a one and now as soon as I type in destroyer.fire it should be zero and that print statement should come up and it doesn't let's go ahead and print it again I believe it has to be less than zero so I'm gonna go destroyer.fire again it should call it up now yeah there we go called it up now because we said um, uh, my if statement said greater than zero not equal to or greater than zero that makes sense all right perfect let's move on to the third page